Back in 2001, there was some seed money available to start some robotics teams in Las Vegas. Terry Tantlinger, uh, he grabbed me. He said, Rogers, we have to do this. Seven kids built the first robot, and it just started really growing. It is recognized worldwide as one of the most um, successful robotics programs in, in high schools. It's definitely interesting going to competitions and being the world champions. For a new member going to a competition and everyone's just saying, oh, Oh my God, it's a, it's a high roller. It was pretty weird, but it shows you the kind of impact we have. The high school is just a regular comprehensive local community high school, but we draw kids from all over the valley that want to come here specifically for this program. I moved across town just to be in the robotics program because I, I liked it so much. There are teams throughout the country that are sponsored by General Motors sponsors a bunch of teams, NASA sponsors a bunch of teams. Relative to some of these big teams. We're, we're a low budget team. I think the kids understand that we hustle for what we get. It's weird to think that we're a public school because a lot of people, they're amazed by it because of what our team produces. It's a student driven team and everything's led by students. You really just have to jump in. You have to give it your all. You can't just sit on the sidelines. There's over 3,000 high school teams in the world right now. You have six weeks to design your robot build it, test it, redesign it. By the time we are in competition, we've already spent hundreds and hundreds of hours together. Every year we get a new game, and so this year the game involves shooting a whole bunch of balls into this goal that we have up here. Maybe a group will be working on the shooter and another group works on the intake, whereas then they give it to us and we have to incorporate it all into the same assembly and the same robot. When we make a part on here, it gets fabricated outside and put on the real robot. We'll tell it which tool to use, how fast we want it to spin, how fast we want it to travel, and from there it makes a language that the machine can actually understand. What the kids are doing with these robot competitions, they're paving the way for some of the, the businesses out there that are actually uh, putting some of this stuff to use. Companies know that there's talent here. If I had the ability to, I would hire them right out of high school because they're, they're top quality. By giving some kind of practical application of what you're teaching, the kids are gonna love it, they're gonna see relevance, I've fallen in love with it. It's a passion. It gives you a drive to want to learn. Being on the team has helped me with social skills, making friends, uh, collaborating. This is a springboard for them. UNLV, MIT, Stanford, everybody comes back and says I was way more prepared than my peers. So I think it, it gives everybody a sense of pride that Simran Memorial High School is pretty much recognized as the center of robotics in Las Vegas.